I'll be going to review American International Group Inc. Just type it in Google. This thing will appear and you can see the full name American International Group Inc. The symbol is AIG and it's 54.38 US dollars for one stock. And uh, the market cap is in billions, which means it's a big size firm. It is paying a dividend yield. Any firm that is paying dividend yield, that means they're financially very strong, which is brilliant news because that means after paying their creditors, loans, liabilities, they still have extra money. That extra money they pay to shareholders as dividends, which is brilliant because even if the dividend, don't worry, even if the dividend yield is less uh, than what you expect, even if it's 0.5% or 1%, that is you know that that's fine because that's extra money of the firm so it shows that the firm is financially strong let's have a look at wikipedia and search this box and see when was this founded in 1919 okay that's brilliant and uh, let's look what the employees have to say about this so what i'll do is i'll just copy this exactly from google i'll paste it here type in the reviews and let's have a look so I can see they have 3,300 reviews and 3.7 star. Read through the pros and cons yourself. Check out the salaries they're paying, the photos of the firm, the jobs listed, and the question asked. Now, let's look at Glassdoor reviews as well. That's a brilliant website as well for reviews. And I can see that it has 4,300 reviews and it's 3.1 star. Uh, read through the pros and cons yourself, the jobs listed, the salaries they're paying, the interview questions, the benefits they're giving, and the photos of the firm. And uh, let's go to Yahoo Finance and see what the key executives are getting, what their salaries are. So please click on the um, symbol from NASDAQ, which is AIG, and uh, go to Profile, and go to Sector, Industry, Full-Time Employees, these are the ones. And I can see they have five key executives. Only four of their salaries have been shown. Uh, one is it says not applicable. So we need to find out why it's not applicable because the more transparency in terms of salaries there are, the more better trust we are able to build. So that's important to know why it's not applicable. Let's go to Just Yeah Patents and see what patents this firm has. So I'll just paste it exactly from Google. And I can see, please concentrate on applicant or assignee because these are people who have full rights of the patents. So I can see in 2012, they have patent 2013, 2001, 2007, 2008. So it has a lot of patents. That's brilliant because it means it's a very strong firm and it's difficult to beat this firm because it has a lot of patents, which is brilliant. And look for recent patents in 2015, 16, 17, 18 because that means they're still innovating. I can see a recent patent in 2018, that's brilliant. 2014, that's a recent patent. And um, so it has a lot of patents, that's brilliant. Just go through the list yourself, there's another page to it as well. Now let's go to macro trend and see its ratios. Go to price ratio, price book ratio and just paste in the symbol. Okay, that's the one. I think that's the one. I'll just have a look. AIG, yeah, that's the one. So um, I'll just explain you briefly. Price book ratio, if it's less than one, that means stock is cheap, undervalued, and it's a discount if it's less than one. If it's more than one, that means stock is expensive. The higher the number goes, the more expensive it will get. So let's see once it loads. Please be patient with this website because it has a lot of data. So it will take time to load, but it will make your life, life quite easy. So be patient with it. Please let me know if you want to request me um, anything, if you want me to do research on a particular stock or if you want to ask any questions or if you want me to explain something in more detail, um, I'll do that for you. Right now I can see that um, it's 0.76 which means the stock is 34% off. It's 34% sale which is brilliant. Time to buy. I can see in 2018 December it's 6.6 which means stock is 40% off. So somebody who bought in 2018 December they paid $39 to buy something that was $66 worth. They got 40% off. Somebody who bought in 2006 they bought 
1.42 times more expensive they paid $969 to buy something that was $680 worth so it was quite expensive that time right now it's 0 0.76 times uh, so it, it means people will get 34% discount right now so let's have a look at other ratios I want to look at current ratio if current ratio is less than one that means stock is risky uh, because liabilities are more than assets if current ratio is 1.5 or more than that that means stock is safe and uh, it has good margin margin of safety so please look for 1.5 or more than that let's have a look So right now I can see that the current ratio is less it's 0.19 um, so the uh, current, according to current ratio the stock is very risky because if you, see, if you see vertically up the assets are a lot less than liabilities there are, there's a lot more liabilities than assets and the stock is very risky let's look at the previous trend I can see that I can see that since we have data since 2005 up till now since recent 14 years the ratio is a lot less than one that means that the stock is very risky and it has been consistently since 2005 the liabilities are consistently more than assets so it's a very risky stock so let's look at debt equity ratio in this ratio uh, I'll know if the company is mainly operating on debt or equity I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be brilliant let's have a look it's just loading right now so you need to wait Right now, it's um, more than 0.5, so stock is risky because it's more than 0.5, and um, I'm looking for 0.5 or less. Let's look at the previous trend. So it has been less than 0.5 as well. Okay, so I can see that since 2005, it, it's consistently more than 0.5, so it's a risky stock consistently, and it has been, it is risky from 2005 until 2012 September. And after 2012 December, it is a safe stock in terms of debt because it has been less than 0.5 and it has been safe until I would say um, safe until uh, 2017 December because it has been less than 0.5 consistently. But I can see that 2018 March, since 2018 March, it's again a risky stock because it's again more than 0.5. And consistently up till 2019 March it's more than 0.5 so it's a risky stock recently in terms of debt let's go to return on equity I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be brilliant let's have a look
so it's still loading right now i can see that right now it's a minus return on equity which is not a good news i'm looking for eight percent or more than that let's look at the previous one it's consistently minus and then it's like fluctuating so um i would say that since 2005 it's like there's a lot of minus equity return on equity and then there's you know recently it's a minus return on equity so in terms of return on equity it's not doing good right now